In a pumping system, the objective is to transfer a liquid from a source to a destination. This may be by filling a reservoir at a higher level or circulating liquid as in a heating system. In either case, a pressure is required to make this happen. This is generally referred to as a head. This can be of two types, the static head and the friction head. First of all, if we look at static head, that is the vertical distance that the liquid has to be lifted in order to achieve useful work. The friction head, which may be due to the materials of the pipe, the size of the pipe, is basically increasing as a square of the increase in flow. When we put these together and we add a static head and a friction head, we end up with a system curve. And that system curve is where we need to look if we're going to save money and save energy with a pumping system. Where the static head is relatively high compared to the friction head, there is actually less capability of saving money, but you're still going to actually save some. Looking at pumps, the rotor dynamic, where the pump is usually centrifugal, it's based on a bladed impeller which rotates in the fluid to impart a tangential acceleration to the fluid, and therefore a consequent increase in the energy in the fluid. The purpose is to convert this energy into pressure and that can be used in the associated piping system.